Are you ready for some pizza? Let's get to it. Okay guys, today we're doing a French bread pizza. Super easy. This is something you can make really quick. The kids really enjoy this. We're gonna make a homemade pizza sauce. It's gonna be super quick. So let's get down here and show you what we got. Okay, we're gonna use a can of crushed tomatoes, a little bit of this tomato paste. We're gonna use some of this garlic right here some olive oil, Italian seasoning, and some coarse sea salt, and of course we got our French bread. We're gonna start this off by putting our can of crushed tomatoes into our bowl here. Now that we have our crushed tomatoes in our bowl, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of this um, tomato paste right here. Next, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of uh, olive oil. Then we're gonna add a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. We're gonna add a good pinch of this coarse uh, sea salt right here. I'm also gonna add about a half a tablespoon of sugar you can use brown sugar, white sugar. Here I'm using uh, all natural sugar. We're gonna take our garlic and put it in a press. Here you can you can do that with the skin on it. And uh, be careful when you do this, as uh, you'll see here as my half of my garlic shoots across the bowl <laughs> there and uh, misses it a little bit. We're gonna take a knife and we're gonna scrape that off so we get all that goodness into the bowl. Next, we're gonna go over to our tabletop arrow garden, which is a hydroponic garden and grab some fresh Thai basil to add into our sauce. Now that we have all of our ingredients in our bowl, we're gonna actually put them into a pot here and then we're going to mix them up really good and put it on uh, low heat and let this cook off for i don't know 10 15 minutes here we're adding in our fresh thai basil that we just picked off our air garden And we take in our French bread, we cut the loaf in half, and then we split um, the half section in half again here. And we're taking some olive oil and brushing it on top of the, uh, on top of the uh, both halves here. Next, we're gonna add some of our pizza sauce to it. You can put as little or as much as you like. Then we're gonna grab our pepperonis here and we're gonna put them on them. You can use any topping you like. Uh, pepperonis is a top, topping I chose. You could use cheese, sausage, beef, vegetarian. The, uh, the sky's the limit on this. Now we're gonna add some of our cheese. We're using a Mexican blend. Uh, typically you'd use just mozzarella. Um, the beauty of this is you just use whatever you got on hand and that's what we're doing here. So we're gonna spread a nice even coat on it. Um, that'll help hold the pepperonis in place and uh, give it that good cheesy goodness we all like. Got my oven preheated to 450 and I'm gonna toss it in there. We'll be back in a second. Wanted to talk to you a little bit about this French bread pizza. It's so simple to make, it's so easy, it's so quick. We're gonna try it out for you right quick and do a little 
taste test for you. But this is something that kids really, really enjoy this. You can take the extra sauce that we made, you can put it in the freezer, you can divide it up in the little, in the smaller containers. You can even put it in a freezer bag, like little one gallon or one quart freeze, not one, one gallon, but one quart freezer bags and divide it up into little uh, single servings. When you want a pizza, you can just grab it out of there and drop the bag in some boiling water for a few seconds. You got fresh made pizza sauce and you can have you some French bread pizza. This stuff's super hot right now. We're going to try it for y'all. We're going to sacrifice for y'all. We're going to try this right now. Now, I put this in the oven for about five or six minutes on about 450 on bake. Uh, don't take long to cook. You're not cooking the bread. The bread's already cooked, so you're basically just melting the cheese and uh, heating it up and everything. So It's very, very hot. Mmm. Love it. All right, guys. I want to see you guys get in the kitchen and cook something up. Hopefully, going forward, we're going to try to work in a few restaurant reviews when we, when we have time. Now that you can get in some restaurants and all, and things is kind of opening it back up. Hope everybody stays safe and appreciate y'all watching our videos we enjoy making these it's become a pretty fun hobby if you hadn't done it yet if you're interested in farming or gardening check out our other channel early bird farms sc and we'll see y'all next time and remember let's get food junk